Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and today I'm finally going to do it. People have been asking for ages. I'm going to show you how to install the Adventure Craft mod for Minecraft and also how to get the Zelda Adventure map that I've been playing working on yours. Uh, now this has become very, very simple, a lot easier than when I installed it originally. So if you look at the link in the description, you can download a zip file which is called 1.5 underscore 01, which is obviously the current version of Minecraft beta. And it also says Zelda Adventure Craft version 0.8.2. Now the link in the description, I will update it as new versions come out so don't worry about that now once you've got it downloaded I'll give you a second to do that all you have to do is extract the file now my emblem on the screen is a little bit different to maybe some people's because I've got WinRAR which I used to open zip files and raw files if you want that it's a really good program I'll put a link in the description as well so to start off really simple just extract the files to anywhere on your computer it doesn't have to be in program files or in app data and all that nonsense none of that it's easy so mine's in a folder on the desktop called new folder which shows how simple it really is so you'll be left with this folder called adventure craft so when you open that up you've got a couple of files in here now you need to run the application and not the windows batch file or the jar file called my uh, called adventure craft so double click on that and it'll pop up in a second and you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. Now this is very different to my version. Mine normally just pops straight up with the game. Uh, but it seems that they've now got a little launcher coming up. Which is quite good because you can keep up to date with the mod development and all that sort of stuff. And they've even got links on there as well to the latest versions. Just in case yours is a bit outdated. So, second step. Really easy. Uh, at the minute, if you click on install, I'll do that. It'll come up with an error. Then it'll say finished installing. And then when I click on start it will just disappear like so and it will never come back again so let's load it back up the only thing you need to do to install it properly is get your window up click on install via login and then you just log into this with your minecraft account you know the one on minecraft.net I know some people might be hesitant about it but I've had it for what two or three months now and nothing's ever happened to my account it's a very popular mod on the minecraft forum so I think it's okay so you click on login just going to leave that to do its thing for a moment. You might see a couple of files in the AdventureCraft folder popping up, as well as this progress window. And once it's done, it should say finished installing. Fabulous. So let's click on start, and there you go. It is installed. It is all working properly. So once you're on this screen, to get the adventure map working for the Zelda one, this zip file actually comes with it. So all you have to do is click on single player create new world as you normally would now this is the part that <laughs> this is the part i kept getting caught out on instead of clicking on the map and then clicking on new map no 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 don't do that you click on the map and then click on done and then when it loads up you'll be presented with the game zelda adventure for minecraft and the beta mod oh this is very different <laughs> okay link link help me Wow, this is very different. So we I get that the reason the video wasn't up yesterday is because I played it up until uh, from the point that we started off yesterday. I got to the Hyrule Plain Lands and then the mod ends there, like the map had ends there. So I thought it wasn't really worth a video. It was two minutes videos tops and it was just us going back through the desert and through the forest and then into that area. So um, that's why there was no video yesterday. So yeah. There you go, that is the mod installed. Now a little something extra I'm going to show you how to do. If I minimise this, I'm going to show you, actually I'll close the program altogether. So here we go, so if you want to install another map onto it, so I'm going to be starting to play a map called Aggiecraft soon. Really easy to do that. All you've got to do is go into the maps folder, and there it is. So I've got the Aggiecraft zip file, I'll also put that in the description. And all you do is simply drag the folder over to there, and then the next time you load up Adventure Craft, when you go to Create New World, uh, that map will also be there. So I'll click on Start, Full Screen Business, uh, I'll click on Single Player, Create New World, Aggie Craft, and Done. And there you go. Now the best thing about this mod is that you notice that this texture pack is very different to the Zelda one. So um, I'm not going to tell you too much about that right now because I'm going to be doing a video series on this map. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully that answered any questions. I'm going to put a link as well in the description to Adventure Crafts Wiki. They've actually made themselves their own Wikipedia page. So if you have any problems, it's probably not best to ask me uh, because I don't know too much about 
the mechanics of the mod so I won't be able to help you with any error codes or anything. Uh, leave something in the comments anyway, somebody else in the community might be able to help you out, some other saplings as we like to call ourselves. Um, so yeah, there you go, Adventurecraft mod, uh, two maps and the method to install them and I think I have covered everything. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you very much for watching, hope that was a help to you. If you do do any adventures, let me know about it. I'd like to see how you got on with the uh, Zelda map and stuff. And I shall see you all tomorrow for the live stream. Applications will be opening up on the Facebook page once this video goes up. All you got to do is post your Skype name and a little fact about you maybe. Because then certain facts that kind of catch my attention, I may add them into the call sooner. So uh, yeah, have a lovely day and I shall see you all tomorrow for the live stream. Bye! Oh my god, he's coming! Which part of the body do I have to do? Is it the torso? Okay, it's the torso. Right, I've got